Come on, bird. And yes! Crushed it. <laughs> I just beat a level that I've been stuck on for like a month. As any good gamer knows, it takes the right move to win. One wrong move and poof, a possible win can turn into a loss. The same thing is true for engineering. Last time we were thinking about the moves we could make that would guarantee the solution to our getting across the gorge problem was a success. And that included identifying variables, or the conditions or values, involved in the problem that can be changed. But what's the big deal? Why do engineers identify variables when they're designing and testing solutions to a problem? Remember we can control some variables, like the height from which we drop a ball to see how high it bounces, but there are variables we can't control, like gravity. Whether a solution to a problem turns out to be successful or not depends on picking the right way to change a variable. The way something turns out, like whether a solution solves the problem or not, is called an outcome. So let's see how changing variables can change an outcome by playing a game. The goal of this game is to knock down a pile of fluffy pink marshmallows, and to do that, we'll launch CatBot into the pile using a slingshot. There are two variables here that we can control. We can change the angle of the launch, and we can change how far we pull back on the slingshot. If we change either or both of these variables, then we can get one of three outcomes. We can knock over all of the fluffy marshmallows, knock over some of the fluffy marshmallows, or miss the pile completely. Now, I don't want to be stuck on this level for another month, so I'm going for the complete knockdown outcome. Try number one, and I miss. Completely. Boo! So I'm going to change one variable, the angle of the slingshot, but I want to pull back on the slingshot just as far as last time, otherwise I won't be able to tell if the outcome of the second try is because I changed the angle or if I changed how hard I pulled. So let's see if changing the angle by pulling back just as hard as before gives me the outcome that I want, and score! Total knockdown. Now, if I wanted to, for my second try, I could have decided to change how hard I pulled on the slingshot. But if I did that, I'd have to keep the angle the same. Bottom line, engineers only change one variable at a time. Otherwise, we can't tell why a solution works or doesn't work. So engineers don't just identify variables for fun, although it definitely can be. They identify them so they can figure out which ones they can control. That is, either change them or keep them the same. And that's important to know because changing a variable can affect the outcome or result of a solution. So engineers change only one variable at a time when they test a solution, so they're sure of the connection between the variable and the outcome. Now it's back to my game. I'm coming for you, marshmallows. 